Hey my loved ones, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to show you guys my glitter collection. I also want to share with you guys how I store like a lot of my loose products like glitters, my BM9 powders, and my loose pigments. So I am going to give you all the tips and tricks and everything that you need to know to collect all these beautiful glitters, the beautiful neon pigments, and also how to store your Bent Nye powders. So if you want to know, then continue to watch. Okay, so I wanted to share with you guys how I store my loose um, makeup. So first I'm going to start off with my Ben Nye powders because I know a lot of you guys have been asking me where do I get the containers to store my Ben Nye powders? Where do I get the containers to store my pigments? Where do I get the containers to store my um, glitter? So I'm going to share that with you guys today. So right here, these are my Ben Nye powders. I have almost every single color of the Ben Nye powders that they do have. And these are the five that I think are more uh, appropriate for me um, because I didn't want a big old stack like this of Ben Nye powder. So this is about four colors. And then at the bottom right here, I have um, a beauty sponge. So right here is Topaz, which I use to highlight with. Right here is Banana Powder, which I use to highlight with. This one right here is Fair, which you can use for all over face powder. And this one right here is what I usually use on majority of my videos. is um, the Midnight Powders in Sienna and Chestnut Mix. And at the bottom of this container, I have a Beauty Sponge. Okay, so I purchased these containers from TKB Trading. I will leave the link down below. And they have all sorts of containers. They have a whole lot of pigments, a whole lot of glitters. And that is where I purchase all of my products from. Like when I get loose uh, pigments and glitters because they have a lot of colors that you would not find um, at any department store or any drug store. So I go to that website when I try to find something really really different and I usually find it on that website. So that is how I store my Bit Nye powders. I also store um, some of my pigments uh, from that website in these containers as well. As you see this is like rainbow colors. You got the yellow, the red, the blue, the purple, the green, the red, and the orange. And I um, like to store them like this because when you purchase them from TKB Trading, they send you pigments in a baggie like this. And this is huge. And this is probably like $2. So this is like getting rid of the middleman and purchasing a whole bunch of pigments for an affordable price. Okay, so now let me show you my glitters. Okay, so first I'm going to start off with the glitters that I purchased from Hobby Lobby. And this, I got this idea from Time the Infamous. She said that she purchased her glitters from Hobby Lobby. And you could get, uh, I'm not sure how they came. I'm not sure if it was three in the pack or if I got all of them in the pack. Because I bought these so, so <laughs> long ago <coughs> so these are my glitters from um, Hobby Lobby I forgot the price but they were very affordable this one right here is like black silver and white this one is like all the greens you get a forest green money green lime green this one right here is the pink stack This one is like the gold, copper, silver stack. This one is the purple stack. You get a dark purple and it goes all the way up to lavender. And then I have a blue stack, which looks like this. 
Okay, so those are the glitters that I purchased from Hobby Lobby. This, these glitters I purchased from Claire's. You know, the little store that sells like earrings and accessories like that. I purchased this glitter from there and these have a lot of beautiful colors. Um, the ones from Claire's and the ones from Hobby Lobby are not eye appropriate, but you know we use them anyway. So, I'm just letting you know, is the disclaimer, I'm letting you know that these are not for the eyes, but I use them on my eyes anyway. Okay, so these pigments right here, well not pigments, but these glitters right here are finely, finely milled and I purchased these from TKB Trading. Um, like I said, so I purchased a couple of glitters. The container I actually got from a nail supply store. So these, this container is for um, nail art supplies. So I didn't purchase this container from um, TKB Trading. But these are my finely, finely, finely milled um, glitters. I mean, they're so finely milled, they kind of look like shimmer eyeshadows when you put them on your eye. And these are very, very safe for your eye. Okay, so these are my last two glitters that I purchased from Hobby Lobby. And this hair is getting on my nerves, so I have to put it back some. Let me do that real fast. Okay, so these are the two stacks that I purchased from TKB Trading. Look how big these glitter stacks are. I'm not sure if they still sell these glitter stacks because I purchased these years ago, probably like five years ago. So I'm really not sure if they still carry these glitters, but these glitters are colors that you uh, really can't find. They're rare colors. You got a burgundy color. You got a burgundy. I mean, so many different, different colors. And this is my other one. These are more of the standard colors for the glitter. And this one right here is more of the extraordinary colors that you find in glitters. Okay. So, yeah, I got those two. Okay, so continue on with the glitters. I have so many glitters, and I know I do not do many glittery looks on my channel, but I'm going to start because I got to put these goddamn glitters to use. Okay, so all these are glitters. All of these are glitters. Every single last one of these are glitters. Okay, so I have that. Those are glitters. These are glitters. These are glitters. And these are more dang on glitters. And I have no glitter look from last year, this year. So I am going to start doing more glitter looks. And so for my glitter looks, I'm going to use the um, NYX Glitter Primer. I also found another primer from the, um, from the beauty supply, but I'm trying to find it. I got so much stuff, you guys. It don't make, make no damn sense. I shouldn't buy no more makeup. No more. Where's that other primer? Um, looking for it, you guys. Looking for it. Just bear with me. Okay, hold on. I know where it's at. Wait. It is right. No. Let me see. Right here. Okay, so this glitter primer is from City Colors. And it looks like this. And I like this one because it has an actual brush to where you could brush it on your eyelid and then 
put the glitter on top of that. So this is from City Colors. This was like two dollars, and the um, NYX glitter primer was like eight. So um, I'm gonna try both of them. Haven't tried them yet because I haven't been wearing no damn glitter. Okay, so like I said, this is glitters, and I have neon glitters. I mean, everything. I don't know if you can see that color, but this is like a neon orange. Let me see if I could change these ISOs. Mm. This is a neon glitter, neon orange. I got neon pink, neon yellow. I mean, I just got a lot of different damn glitters. And I mean, some of these glitters right here are just so pretty. And they're just like a mixture of different glitters. And it's like real iridescent and very pretty. So I will be bringing you guys a lot of glittery looks. Because I need to use up some of this damn glitter. Okay, so moving on. I like to store my... NYX jumbo pencils and containers because I think they last longer when they're in deposited and inside of containers because I deposited these jumbo pencils like I want to say five years ago they do not smell stale and they still glide on as smooth as the day I bought them like let me show you I'm gonna take a q-tip Okay, rub it around in the, the, the NYX Jumbo Pencil, which looks like this. And I think I have almost every color of the NYX Jumbo Pencils. Put it on my arm, and it's still just as creamy as the day I purchased the damn pencil. Okay, so this is how I store my NYX Jumbo Pencil. So like I said, I have almost every single color in the... Um, NYX Jumbo Pencils. So these are all the rare colors like you see the turquoise, the red, the orange, the yellow, purple, green, gold, silver, charcoal, copper, burgundy, lime green, brown, not brown, I don't know what color that is, but it's a whole bunch of different colors. But the main colors that I use the most is of course milk and um, black bean so I stored these in beer containers not attached to that container and these containers are also um, nail art supply containers so I put it in that I purchased this from a nail supply store my um, milk I pot deposited it put it in here this is like four pencils and you can see it's a lot of product right here and I use it all the time and it looks like it is not going anywhere. It is not going anywhere. So um, you do not waste product when you store them in containers like this. I do have a video on my channel when I depot the NYX Jumbo Pencils. But I have like 800 videos. And I am not about to scroll through all those videos to try to find it. If I find it, maybe you can find it if you chop, type in the potty NYX Jumbo Pencils. Black Bean, the same thing. I use it all the time and it looked like the product isn't going anywhere. And so I purchased, I mean I didn't purchase, but I um, store Black Bean and Milk in bigger containers because I use those the most. And I also purchase, I mean put dark brown inside a container which is smaller than black bean and milk and these are the main colors that I use I only put two pencils in here um, but you know, a little bit goes a long way with these jumbo pencils and like I said I deposited these years ago and they're still good so um, this is dark brown and my main colors that I use is usually milk black bean and dark brown and you know the colors I rarely use these because I have the Mega Forever Flash palette. I have all, so many bases. I just pulled this out of the drawer. So I'm just letting you know that this is way more convenient than having a ton of pencils. 
Okay, so that is all that I want to show or share with you guys today. I will leave the leave the link down below for TKB Trading so you can purchase uh, your glitter stacks, your pigments. Oh, and one more thing. <clears throat> you know how people are selling these damn neon pigments for a hell of a lot of money? You can also get those from TKB Trading. You can get a bag. I mean, a baggie for $3 of the neon pigments. $2. And you can get a whole bag. It ain't going to be a full bag, but it'll be up here. But you could get these from TKB Trading for $2 for a whole bag instead of paying $25 for some neon pigments that look like this. I'm just giving y'all the scoop. I want y'all to save money like I save money. Because, you know, I do research before I purchase anything. You know what I mean? Because the sister be trying to stack her little cheese. Because I got two kids, a mortgage, two cars, life insurance, policies, insurance, dental, optometrist. I need to save my coins. Okay, so thank you guys for tuning in today. Don't forget to please rate, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can know when I upload a new video. And I'll talk to you guys real soon. Bye.